Hi Aries, welcome to your past life karmic lesson and uh, present life, well, life path journey. Now this reading is all about knowing what is your karmic lesson. What are the things that you have to deal with that is still related or an unfinished business or unfinished connection from your past life? Then most of the people doesn't really believe you know the phenomena of past life like some people would even say why do I have to know about my past life you know like why do I need to go back there but it's already in the past it's already way behind us you know I wasn't even aware of who I was before but you know there are a lot of things that's been recurring in our life or in our lives right now that sometimes we often think why is it that I cannot discard this person why is it that I, you know even though this person is so bad for me why is it that I do have this strong feelings okay that this person can just simply simply manipulate me like there's some sort of a karma or there's like an unfinished business that no matter how many times I've gone into re a relationship I still keep on coming back to this person or this person I can let this person go in and out of my life you know that there's that certain connection that we cannot deny, we cannot refuse, and we cannot just close down or shut them out out of our lives. So let's take a look, Aries. Who were you in the past and what is your <clears throat> present life karma or what are the karmas that you need to finish off? All right. By, by the way, thank you to all those uh, subscribers who have already shared my videos and uh, to their social media or to their Facebook pages. Thank you for joining my Facebook page and registering to my website, visiting my website and availing my services, all right? All right, mother. Love life. Native American, mm. the arts, farm, forgiveness, spouse, Greek Roman, leaving her travel, Egypt, third figures, angels, medicine man or woman, high priest or priestess, and karmic relationship. Now, I just mentioned about you know the undeniable connection that even though it is something that you don't want or it is something that you want to sever your ties with with this person why is it that you have that feeling connection chemistry or somewhat kind of a feeling all right that you cannot just cut off forget about the person no matter how many times you've been in and out of a relationship or let other people join your circle or be in your life you still cannot forget that one particular person all right now and I feel like there's something inside of you that's been itching what is it with this person that I cannot forget or I cannot just simply get that person out of my head or out of my system or out of my heart right now you're very domestically abreast okay when you in, in your past life and you you used to be a mother of two and your love life right now is affecting because of an unfinished business in the past which is both okay spouse and karmic relationship now there's one particular person in your in your in your life right now whom you wanted to have a connection a child or something to give to that person or that person really want to have a child with you but you're so afraid or vice versa and you used to be Native American you have talent in arts and music and you used to be a uh, farm person either you're a farm boy or farm girl now you need to learn how to forgive you've been carrying it that grudge that anguish that pain and bitterness inside of you there's that very heavy feeling that you've been dragging okay while you're growing getting old in your everyday life and in your journey yet you cannot just simply cut off that baggage that you know that anguish that's been weighing down your your personality and you as you 
okay it is because of one particular person that you used to be married to okay in the past and this person actually left you without even saying goodbye this person just told you that you know they need to that they need to go to a place to find work to find themselves to find their faith or to find an opportunity but they never made it back you've waited and waited and waited and waited yet this person just kept on moving further away from you okay and this person came from the Middle East or this person right now is working as an engineer or around math or numbers or geophysicist um, uh, architect builder realtor developer something about the real estate as long as they're working on buildings okay or building establishments and I feel like they're also good in math or good in geometry as well now and you've been having some problems with some legal stuff okay either you always get entangled with some legal stuff or connected to some legal stuff or you always have some problems with the authorities or getting a lawyer yourself it is because that in the past you were never you, you never made it to you know to wherever this person is your spouse was okay in the past because there are some legal problems or it's either that you need some visa and you you were not really granted or there was some travel that needs to be made but you never really made it because of some particular legal problems or documentations but you were guided you are that one person who also have that healing abilities and you know even just by listening to other people you tend to give them that healing energy, healing touch, and healing vibrations. But the problem here is most of the time you feel like you're so alone. You feel like nobody's there to listen to you. When you want to rant, when you want to vent out, even if someone listens to you, all you get is their judgment, all you got is their, you know, scrutiny, and sometimes they put the blame on you. That even though they don't know, you know, they don't know what's really going on at the exact picture of your life, they tend to pass on their judgments easily. And so, most of the time you feel like, why is it that nobody, nobody's there for me when I am always there for my relatives, for my family, for my children, for my spouse, or for my partner, for my friend. You know, your so-called friends sometimes when you when you say things to them you only listen to them when it's but when it's time for you to vent out it's like they cannot really give you that sensible advice so sometimes you just turn into strangers sometimes you turn into <clears throat> people that you have to pay just to listen to you which is I do understand it's really hard to you know not to have somebody to listen to you and to at least give you a very sound advice alright now here you're also very religious okay you love simple life or you're living a simple life right now I mean please take note that this is a general reading and not all Aries might be you know might not be born in an average dire or luxurious family or, or have a luxurious life so this is in the general aspect and if this fits you or if this resonates with you good for you if this doesn't then I'm sorry you can jump into could be your moon rising or to another reading all right now the person the person that either who left you that you still cannot forget that you still have that intense feeling that you're still waiting out that this person might someday still gonna come back to you and the two of you could still get reunited even if you're already 70 80 90 it's not yet too late as long as the two of you are still alive you know so at this point what is your lesson from this particular person because this person left you anyway that's why you're there hanging in limbo waiting for something to happen waiting for a miracle and waiting for something to unfold it even though somebody is already out there 
offering their love or offering their devotion and offering their best okay to make you happy to provide you all the things that you need and to give you the life that you want it's like there's something inside of you that you're still longing and thinking and you can't sometimes you can't help not to wonder about this person because either they appear in your mind out of out of the blue or they appear in your dreams and that is why it's you know it's sometimes it's like you want to go crazy or you're feeling you're going crazy and it's spinning you know this person or this the, the memories it makes your head spin all right so let your friends help you it's an unrequited love even though it's your true love forgiving and learning you, st you need to forgive this person have done something to you which is as I've said this person have isolated you and left you with two kids okay or left you in your past life okay and left you with two kids or left you with responsibilities and no goodbyes unfinished business and not even a word until now when you get separated you try to make an effort, as I've said, I've already mentioned it, that you have tried to follow this person, but you were unable to do so because there are some legal stuff or legal uh, involvement. Could be the, the legal documentation, so as I've said, the visa thing. All right. Now, it's safe for you to love because right now you're already with somebody, but there's still, it, it's like something inside of you. You're, you're still waiting for somebody. Okay. And you're already having a lot of hard time that this person have lifted you up during the time that you were so down. Okay? And this person could actually be the one, the one who have helped you up. But this person who have left you, this is your karmic soulmate. A karmic relationship. Now, what is it that you need to resolve and what is it that you need to learn from this situation? release your ex be more positive past life relationship wow okay and new love let go of control issues now you need to let go of the of the what might have been and what could have been it's like deep inside of you a part of you still blaming yourself that if you did not do this or if you have just done this performed this extended this gave this and so and so thing maybe this person could still be in your life but you know what things happen for a reason that no matter how many questions you try to say to yourself no matter how many questions you ask the universe <clears throat> you know it will just go and encircle and fall into that one bottom line it's not just meant to be there are some lessons that you have to learn there are some things that you that you need to pick up but it's not meant to be although could be that the time is a little bit off before when you got separated or even now but someday okay the universe is actually a very kind thing okay sometimes they could still g give you an opportunity if they could see that you're re really like asking for it but if not then there's a lesson for you to learn that you need to let go. You need to let go of the things that's already beyond your control. And stop waiting for something to happen. Stop waiting for somebody to come. Because the more you wait, blocking the door, that energy won't be able to come in. So you need to step away. You need to divert your attention. And you need to do something else. And who knows when you're not really aware that that energy might just, you know, come in and sneak right behind you. All right. So this person that you're still waiting around, this person that you're still thinking about, and this person whom you feel like you have an unfinished business with, especially if this is an air sign or a water sign. I feel like this person has struggled so far. And they have tried to move on there. Actually, I feel like this person is already in a new relationship right now. But they cannot find that fulfillment. And they feel like they always have that blockage. Or always experience the bad karma. Or always, you know, meet the wrong kind of person. It is because that they have just turned around and l leave somebody behind that is actually 
you know, supposed to be meant for them, but they have changed their actions or they have repeated their mistakes in your past life. So let's take a look what's going to happen to you now. But before that, let me read your life purpose, okay? What is your actual life purpose right now? Right after all of this past life karma. Music. You know, even in your past life, you also have talent in music and arts. Leadership. You're a very strong person and you know how to, it's like you know how to start up a business, make your money grow, even from, you know, a small penny. And uh, you have that a very unique talent that not all people have. You have that advanced knowledge and you are always hungry or thirsty for new for new knowledge, for new, you know, for new stuff. You're very keen to learn and you're a very enthusiastic person. Creative expression. You always turn your, you know, your pain and your anger into something creative. Body work. But it work as I've said that you do have that uh, healing abilities. So it could be that you you can do the uh, what do you call it the Reiki energy uh, energy healing massage or whatever it is. Okay, but you do have the talent in healing people, and you're also an empath. Sensitivity. You're very sensitive to all the things that you want to happen and that you want to come into your life and that you want to manifest options the options are already right in front of you you just need to make the wise choice flowers you do love simple things in life and you love instead of flowers you love plants you appreciate a small garden of your own as long as you can you know have that intimate bonding with your flowers with your plants and you you know it gives you a lot of warmth and it gives you a lot of happiness when they bloom Nutrition, you love cooking and you do have some culinary skills or you do know how to keep some someone healthy or how to have a healthy lifestyle which you need to, you know, to uh, uh, what do you call it, share to other people who actually needs it. And you are a very creative, artistic person. This is your life path, okay? So it's already up to you if you can connect this to a particular job, profession or just a hobby. Now let's take a look what is, you know, what is going to happen and where will your current path lead you? Let's clear this off for a little while. I need to spread the other cards and uh, if I will just put all the cards on top of each other it's going to be really messy alright where do you go from here and what should you actually learn in this present life or what should you still be doing or dealing with You need to learn how to be a little bit more patient because sometimes you do have some trust issues. Okay, sometimes you feel like when the other person doesn't really, you, it's like you are this, um, you have this extreme attitude. You trust easily and you, do, you always distrust other people's intention towards you. Especially if you already caught them lying right in front of your face. Alright, so... You need to learn how to trust. Don't try to isolate yourself just because that somebody already hurt you in the past. Not all people are gonna, you know, do the same thing to you. Don't tar them with the same brush. And you also need to loosen up a bit. You need to learn how to be happy. Don't be so uptight. You always strive for perfection. You have that, you know, that 
uh, what do you call this? Air of um, sophistication, high standards, and you can just simply carry yourself very from very simple gesture or from very simple get up and people really adore you how you carry yourself okay but you just need to loosen up enjoy life don't be so uptight and don't always count the time the minute that passes by it's like you you know I need to do this I need to do that I need to hurry up I need to do it's like everything in your life is so scheduled that's why the time and life has been passing you by without you enjoying each and every minute of your life of your younger days of your you know soon to be older days the only memories that you that you're keeping right now are the uh, the task that you have already performed and uh, of course the achievement but where's the fun right in between that all right and you also love pleasing your family your biological family or your direct family but are you happy? Does it really suit you? And does it really define you? Because I feel like at this point, there are a lot of things that you need to cherish, that you need to treasure, especially the people who's been staying right beside you all throughout your hard times. But sometimes you're still looking for something more. Okay? And one thing is that you always remember all the bad sides or all the bad times for that person instead of cherishing all the good times together. Okay? Now, <clears throat> you need to let go of your control issues. Lower down your walls. Let other people in. Accept that their life will keep on disappointing you and life will be full of disappointments. And sometimes life is full of shit, you know? But that's life. Okay, sometimes it's up, sometimes you're down. But whatever happens and whatever comes your way, what's important is that you learn the lesson that life is trying to teach you and trying to open up your eyes to and trying to prepare you for, for something big, real, and super. All right? There are some things that you're wishing right now in your life, but the timing is a little bit off. And you wish to travel a lot or to travel into several and different places, which is definitely you will. Okay, 2019, I feel like it will be a very active year for you to, to travel. Now, will you still be seeing... Ooh, that person. I'm picking up Italy. If you're going to be traveling there. Italy and... Uh, starts with letter K and uh, you know someone will be betraying you or, or you have gone through several betrayals in the past because as I've said you're extreme you trust easily and you, dist you distrust other people's intention towards you but whatever happens even if there are some people who's you know who appears like a very sweet and convincing people but they're the real snakes what's important is that you will know their real color and that you're going to be able to back yourself up and to you know to fight all right even if there will be some losses what's important is that you will recover and get up every time that you will stumble now you will see this person again Okay, this person that you're still waiting for, this this soulmate of yours. But this is already your choice. If you still want to be reunited or if you just want to have a closure or if you still want to continue, you know, building the bridges again, building the bridges of the past. But it's not going to be easy because there is somebody that you're going to be running over and might get hurt. And I feel like this person is also a fire sign. This person is very ambitious, loves money, loves luxury, good life, and very discontented in life, okay? It's like, even if they've already gotten what they wanted in life, they're still looking for more and more and more and more and more. 
looking for outside defense, looking at someone else's cup and comparing their life, comparing their journey, comparing what they have, always looking, you know, at life, what, what life cannot give to them instead of appreciating the blessings that they have. Yeah, sounds like a real fire sign though. And you need to work on that emptiness inside of you. You need to learn how to be happy on your own. Don't look for the happiness that other people can give you. That, you know, if you're looking for a date, if you're looking for a spouse, if you're looking for someone to be in a relationship with. You need to fill up that your own emptiness and you need to be happy on your own. That when you're already ready, when you're fully and wholly ready for a commitment or relationship and you're already happy that you just wanted to share your life with at least okay you're the one is gonna gonna be feeling someone else's cup and you, you don't have to you know wait for someone else to fill up your cup because you're ready but don't get involved with somebody who has issues well we all have our own issues psychological issues mental issues emotional issues we all have that but at this point you will still be seeing this person in the around Europe and uh, I'm also picking up Argentina but if you are actually uh, plus I'm also picking up Central America uh, some areas the person that they're kind of waiting right now is still around but they're very very old and they've had uh, either they have that Alzheimer's disease or they have an amnesia or they've had an amnesia okay they've um and uh, that is also the reason why they never made it back to you so there are different scenarios that i'm picking up okay and don't over exaggerate things sometimes you do exaggerate things just to you know impress and uh get people sit with you but uh there are some behaviors and there are some attitudes that you also need to walk away from be real show your true color and don't be afraid to admit your mistake even if you have to face the consequences because that is being an adult that is being a responsible adult all right so this is just let's say one third or like a small chunk of your your uh, your present life lessons or your karmic lessons that you need to deal with now if you want to have a full coverage or full forecast of your own about your past life please go and visit my website it's sophiaangel.net and you may talk to me live on the phone offer pre-recorded video readings or live video readings all right so anyway that's it for you for now aries and have a great month blessings to you